This is Morning Motivation for Educators on the B Podcast Network. Learn about all the shows at bpodcastnetwork.com. You'll hear from a variety of formal and informal educators who help put this podcast together. If you'd like to contribute your voice to this show, please go to morningmotivationedu.com to apply. I'm Danielle Neufer, an educator for over 20 years who went up against two bouts of serious teacher burnout before finally realizing that I needed to share what worked and what didn't with educators everywhere. This is when Teaching Well was born. At Teaching Well, I partner with schools who recognize that when teacher well-being is prioritized, true teaching and learning can happen. And there's nothing more integral to building this kind of school culture than finding ways to care for yourself in the midst of all the school day hustle and bustle. Building in these moments is what this show is all about and what I hope to bring to you each time I get the opportunity to speak with you here. So with that, let's begin. I hope you're feeling inspired to, and ready for today's episode, which is all about ensuring we maintain our energy and passion throughout the school year. We've all been there, tired, feeling drained or overwhelmed, even before we've hit our first major milestone in the academic calendar but I'm here today to help reframe that narrative. As someone who loves planning and prioritizing wellness, I wanna share some strategies that have worked wonders for me and for many others. Strategies that make self-care an integrated part of our day, not just an afterthought and not just an add-on. I wanna share with you today four self-care solutions to building a daily self-care routine in schools. So the four places that you could seamlessly build self-care into your daily routine, number one is quiet time. You could find some time in the morning um, before school. It could be at your house or it could be even in your car. Find five minutes to just sit and be alone with yourself. The second place to build in a daily self-care routine is through intention setting. Sometimes you can couple this with the quiet time, but it's simply giving yourself a direction for your day. You're setting an intention, something you want to remember, something you want to direct or orient yourself towards. Again, it's not a goal, but it's more of an intention. It's a place that you want to to steer yourself toward. Maybe it's allowing yourself to have a couple deep breaths during lunch. Perhaps it's walking um, from your classroom to the mailbox. Maybe it's stepping outside for a moment to get a fresh, a breath of fresh air. Maybe it's greeting each of your students um, as they walk into your classroom. The third part of our day where we can build in the self-care routine is through reflection. So at the end of your day, as you are wrapping things up, Can you just write down something that went well? You don't need to beat yourself up about what worked and what didn't. You certainly can do that. But what I'd like you to invite you to do is to focus on reflecting on your day as to what went well and what you might want to do differently in the future. You want to be forward facing, um, but not beating ourselves up so much. And then the fourth part or place to build a daily self-care routine in school would be a transition time between work and home. So this could be going for a small walk. This could be driving a different way home. This could be listening to a favorite song. Um, This could be getting yourself a cup of coffee on the way home. Um, doing something, this could be moving in some way, shape, or form, doing something that marks the end of your day at work and invites the rest of your day into your life. I've also had people talk about just changing their clothes becomes um, this transition routine that's really very powerful. So play around with that as, as it comes to you. So why not give a different exercise a try each week or mix it up daily? Experimentation is key here. It's about discovering what works with you and what might not work so well. Embrace this week as a time for experimenting. 
get curious about building that self-care regimen. And I'd love to hear from you with anything that you try and what works and what doesn't. Until next time, prioritize yourself so you can be the best for your students. I wish you a week of discovery and self-care. If this morning's motivation resonated with you, I'd love to connect more. You can find all the different ways we can partner together at teachingwell.life. Thanks for listening. And whatever role you have in education, we have a podcast for you at bepodcastnetwork.com. Who among your friends and colleagues needs to hear this message today? Please share it with them right now.